I know my hair is a little crazy. But does anybody watch American Horror Stories? <laughs> Please. I Are you kid like we kidding now? Like we I'm what do you want me honestly truly truly what am i supposed to take away from that um that episode tell me you hear noise i got my <laughs> my balcony door open you know and they're doing the thunderbirds they're flying well that don't sound like a thunderbird that just sounds like a plane but anyway it's three o'clock so you know it's a lot of people outside and i'm just enjoying the air that i have anyway what the fuck first of all both of y'all i was like i mean she shouldn't have had sex with a dead body he shouldn't have been a dead body what do you want me to take a take from this episode what is the moral of this story what do me what what do me what, what i'm i'm very confused what the it's always the ending did i say that in the beginning it's always the ending for me it's always the ending for me it's always caca the ending is caca there is no in between it's caca it's caca what are we doing? Like, when I, I, I was, when she was all happy and stuff, and you know what's crazy? Is when I seen Necro as the title, my ass thought it was Necromancy. And when I seen that dead body, I said, oh, it's Necrophilia. I don't, <laughs> and then like, First of all, number one, I will say it was very predictable because I predicted everything. I do, you know, I do be predicting these predictable ass storylines. Of course, I knew that it was going to be him when, you know, the, the person came in. Of course, I knew that they were going to turn around and show the video on the TV. Um, of course, I knew at the end he, she was going to shoot him. I didn't see her, I thought she was going to shoot him and then, you know, keep him for, you know, sexual business. But I just, y'all, I live on a main street, so I live on a main street, so it's, you know, always jumping. And my cat is over there looking at me like, who you talking to? I'm talking to you. Anyway, I just, I remember looking at the time and it was 23 minutes and everything was happy, nice me. And I was like, okay, so where is this going? And then I'm so confused because number one, is this the story that we're giving the girls, the little girls, the teenagers? The impressionable minds, the little boys. Is this the story that we're giving them? That you can be fucked up and still get the person? Because in doing something so fucked up, both of y'all doing something so fucked up, it means that y'all are meant to be. Like, what are we talking about here? In the year 2022. In the year... 2022 what are we talking about as a people as a community what the fuck is going on that's scary as hell let me tell you something my mother used to love the thunderbirds i don't even know if that's what they call uh my mother used to love the thunderbirds you know she always wanted to go see them we never really went to see them because they was just flying everywhere. But that shit is scary. 
okay? Nobody wants to be walking down the street, driving down the street, and then you hear, row, row, row. I thought I was downtown doing delivery, and I thought someone crashed into a dog. And it was a fucking airplane. Like, we got to stop this. Anyway, back to what I was saying. Is this what we're telling the impressionable minds? That you can be so messed up that as long as you can justify the mess up, you can still get the person that you want? No, it doesn't make sense. I know it's a lot of noise, but y'all just going to have to live with it, okay? I'm just really, I'm done. I'm done. It's one more episode. But literally, from the only one that was good was the beginning. Aura was predictable. The second one was predictable. The Bloody Mary one, let me tell you something. I knew. When her sister did not tell what the thing was, I said, okay, so her sister's going to kill her. Her sister obviously got to sacrifice her sister. And, I mean, it's a, it's a curse, okay? It's a curse that I'm able to, to predict these predictable-ass things. But at the same time, make things that aren't predictable. Make things that aren't predictable. So, um, I, you know, I gave no introduction. I will definitely have a video up, upcoming of why I have been gone. Because things are looking up. So, you know, you'll see me around. Hopefully, you'll see me around. I don't want to promise anything. Cause, you know i want to i want to be you know real with my expectations and not have any but if y'all watched american horror stories if y'all have watched american horror stories this whole season number one why 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 are we doing this to ourselves and number two did you like the episode why i mean if you did of course that's fine tell me why because and then you know one more thing and I'm going to go. American Horror Stories has been playing this shit for a minute. This second season shit. Where it seems like they say what's going to happen. Like. Sometime in the um, episode. Like I can't remember it was another episode. I can't remember what episode. But they had said something. And then that ended up being what happened. Or, or was that the movie that we went to go see? That might have been the movie we went to go see. We went to go see Nope. Because the man wanted to go see it. But maybe I'm just confusing things. But yeah, if you um if you like the, the, the movie, if you like the show, then tell me why. Because I did. So, bye.